every three. Now just three minutes to go. The shuttle's traveling 547 miles per hour. It's altitude six miles. And Houston, Atlanta. Field track. Yeah, good luck with that one. Now the commander, Ken Ham, now taking control of the shuttle. On at the 180. Copy, on at the 180. It's a beautiful day. Absolutely. Two and a half more minutes to go in Atlantis's flight. There you see the Florida coast coming into view. The shuttle continuing to turn to the right and line up with runway 33 at the Kennedy Space Center. Continuing to finish up this heading alignment circle turn. Atlantis, you are on at the 90. Copy, on at the 90. In just a few seconds, the uh, shuttle's crew will get their first view at the Kennedy Space Center. Atlantis now traveling 400 miles per hour. Side of the cockpit has the runway site. Copy that, Ock. Field site. Once again, this is the heads up display that Commander Ken Ham is taking a look at as he pilots Atlantis down toward this runway. Space Shuttle Atlantis now traveling 389 miles per hour. It is now on final approach to the Kennedy Space Center. During this point in the flight, the shuttle's descent rate is 20 times steeper than a commercial airliner. Its angle of attack more than seven times steeper. Now under one minute to go in Atlantis's flight. Maneuver. It will pull the nose up a little bit right before it uh, hits the runway. It's speed now 320 miles per hour. The gear is down and locked. Main gear touchdown. Atlantis's nose being now rotated down toward the runway. The uh, chute being deployed. And nose gear touchdown. Space Shuttle Atlantis now comes home to the Kennedy Space Center for the final time. 25 years, 32 flights, and more than 120 million miles traveled. The legacy of Atlantis now in the history books.
With that, we'll get you back to work. We'll meet you in the post landing, page 5 3. There are no Delphas. Okay, Scott, thanks, and uh, thanks to all you guys, too. We'll go over to 5 3, and uh, we'll finish up post landing and turn this incredible machine back over to the ground teams to put it back in the barn for a little bit. Yeah, we concur. And with those words from STS-132 Commander Ken Ham talking with the Capcom, Charlie Hobah here inside Mission Control Houston. Atlantis has uh, wrapped up a 32-year career, 32 missions, as well as this 132 flight. It traveled 4,879,978 miles on this STS-132 mission. Convoy Commander Atlantis, come check. The yeah, crew will now uh, get in touch with the convoy commander as uh, they approach the vehicle there on uh, runway 33 there at the Kennedy Space Center. Convoy commander, this is Atlantis, Comtech. They will begin the process of safing uh, the shuttle and they will approach it and begin the process of also getting the crew out.